42 hours. That's how long Canada needed to replace damaged Gripen engine using Canadian facilities, November 2028. Pentagon's F-35 model would have required six weeks using American facilities. That 42 hours versus six weeks difference saved Canadian Arctic defense when Russian bomber approached. But before I show you the leaked Lockheed memo where executive writes, Canadian maintenance independence eliminates $12 billion revenue we cannot recover, existential threat to our business model. You need to understand the sovereignty calculation behind that 42-hour turnaround, because that speed difference cost Pentagon $400 million annually. They desperately wanted to keep. We'll come back to that panicked Lockheed admission in a minute. Here's the sovereignty map. F-35 maintenance requires American facilities. Engine overhauls Connecticut. Depot work Texas. Parts from Pentagon supply chain. Software updates Pentagon contract. Canadian F-35 fly to US, sit grounded months, return when Pentagon allows, cost per flight hour, $42,000. Grip and maintenance happens, Canadian facilities, engine overhauls, Montreal, depot work, Mirabel, Quebec, parts from Canadian suppliers, software updates, Canadian technician, Canadian Gripen, stay Canada, get serviced immediately, return when Canada needs them, cost per flight hour, $4,700, 44 aircraft, 250 flight hours annually each. 11,000 total hours yearly. F-35 annual maintenance, $462 million, 95% leaves Canada. Aircraft availability depends on Pentagon supply chain. Operational sovereignty compromised. Gripen annual maintenance, $52 million, 98% stays Canada. Aircraft availability depends on Canadian facilities. Operational sovereignty maintained. The $410 million annual difference isn't just cost savings, it's independence. F-35 model creates American dependence. Gripen model, maintains Canadian sovereignty over 30 years, $12.3 billion in complete operational independence difference. Screenshot this because it's sovereignty reality. Canada operates F-35s. Pentagon controls when aircraft available. Canada operates Gripen. Canada controls when aircraft available. 410 million savings plus operation dependence versus operational dependence. This breakdown reveals real per hour cost. Why F-35 costs 42,000 per hour. Why Gripen cost 4,700 per hour. The November 14th 2 p.m. moment proving sovereignty matters. Where your 400 million actually goes. Why Lockheed calls Canadian capability existential threat. Because 400 million annually isn't just cheaper maintenance. It's Canada refusing to surrender operational control to Pentagon supply chain. Why F-35 costs $42,000 per flight hour. Watch exactly what devastates budgets. Stealth coating. Every F-35 flight degrades low observable coating. Reapplication required regularly. Only U.S. approved facilities certified. Each coating cycle, $8,000 to $12,000 per aircraft. Canadian F-35s fly to Texas for coating. Days transport, weeks work, thousands in costs. All because coating technology classified cannot transfer to Canada. Engine overhaul. F-35s. Pratt & Whitney F-135 produces 43,000 pounds thrust. That power creates extreme thermal stress. Overhaul required every 2,000 flight hours. Overhaul cost, five to seven million per engine. Overhauls happen Connecticut. Canadian engines ship to US, 12 to 16 weeks downtime. Aircraft grounded entire period. Six million leaves Canada each overhaul. Parts backlog, 100% F-35 parts from US controlled supply chain. Standard parts, four to eight weeks delivery. Specialized components, 12 to 18 months documented delays. Canadian F-35 needs part, aircraft grounded waiting. Pentagon backlog forces Canadian aircraft non-operational months, waiting for parts taking days. Depot maintenance. Major structural work requires depot facilities. Three locations globally, Fort Worth, Texas, Ogden, Utah, Camary, Italy. Canadian F-35s fly to Fort Worth. Six to 12 months depot cycle. Three to five million per aircraft per cycle. During that year, aircraft unavailable for Canadian operation. Sitting Texas being serviced by American contractors charging American prices. All factors combined. $42,000 per flight hour. 10.5 million per aircraft annually. 44 aircraft fleet. 462 million yearly. Pentagon's documented cost data reported to Congress. And here's the first controversial take. Pentagon designed F-35 maintenance expensive and U.S. controlled intentionally. High costs generate 30 years captive revenue after initial sale. Not bug. Business model. Sell aircraft at cost. Profit from maintenance monopoly for decades. Comment whether Pentagon intentionally designed expensive maintenance or it's just complex aircraft reality. Debate this. Why Gripen costs $4,700 per flight hour? Watch how Gripen achieves 89% cost reduction. No stealth coating. Conventional materials. 
Standard paint. No specialized facilities required. No coating reapplication. Canadian maintainers use same procedures learned on CF-18S. Zero coating costs. Engine efficiency. GEF-414 engine. Same family as U.S. Navy Super Hornet. Proven reliability. Overhaul interval. 4,000 flight hour. Double F-35. Overhaul cost. 1.5 to 2 million, one third F-35, critical difference. Overhauls performed Canada under technology transfer. Pratt and Whitney Canada Montreal facility. Canadian workers, engine never leaves Canada. 1.8 million stays Canadian economy. Parts availability, 85% parts manufactured Canada under technology transfer. Gripen needs part. Canadian supplier manufactures or sources it. Delivery, three to seven days standard parts. No international shipping, no customs delay, no Pentagon backlog. Part needed Tuesday, delivered Friday. Aircraft operational again. Depot maintenance. Mirabelle Quebec facility. Canadian contractors, Canadian workers. Downtime, two to four months versus F-35s, six to 12 months. Cost, 800,000 to 1.2 million versus F-35s, three to five million. Money stays Canada. Revenue creates Canadian jobs. Aircraft returns operations faster. Result, $4,700 per flight hour, 1.2 million per aircraft annual, 44 aircraft fleet, 52 million yearly. Swedish Air Force, Brazilian Air Force, Czech Air Force, documented operating cost. Make sure you're subscribed because this cost advantage gets dramatic when real crisis hits. Hit that button. November 14th, 2028, 2 p.m. The moment proving everything. Let me show you what maintenance sovereignty means through specific crisis. November 12th, 2028, Bagotville, Quebec. Gripen Squadron Operational. Sergeant Mark Tremblay, Senior Maintenance Engineer. 22 years experience. 2.30 p.m. Gripen returns from Arctic Patrol. Pilot reports engine warning light. Tremblay inspects. Discovers turbine blade stress fracture. Engine needs immediate replacement. Aircraft grounded. Here's where sovereignty proves itself. Tremblay calls Pratt and Whitney, Canada, Montreal, 320 kilometers away. Replacement engine available. Transported by truck overnight. November 13th, 1130 p.m. Tremblay waits in hangar. Minus 18 Celsius outside. Replacement engine arrives. Semi-truck backing in. Overhead, crane ready. Tremblay's crew assembles. Everyone knows timing matters. Arctic Patrol schedule resuming morning. Midnight. Damaged engine removal begins. Tremblay supervised. Watching his crew disconnect fuel lines, electrical harnesses, engine mounts, precision work, cold hangar, breath visible, 600 kilogram engine lowered onto transport cradle, three hours removal, 3.15 a.m. Replacement engine installation begins, reverse procedure, new engine positioned, mounting bolts torqued, fuel lines connected, electrical systems checked. Tremblay personally inspects every connection. His signature means aircraft flies, or stays grounded. His responsibility, 8.45 a.m. November 14th. Engine test runs complete. All parameters normal. Aircraft operational. Total downtime, 42 hours. Cost, 1.9 million engine, 12,000 labor. Money stays, Canadian economy. 2 p.m. November 14th, Russian 295 bomber probe detected approaching Canadian Arctic. Scramble order issued, that same Gripen. Engine replaced five hours earlier. Scramble. Pilot airborne 2.07 p.m. Intercepts Russian bomber, 2.34 p.m. Visual identification, Russian aircraft turns away. Mission success. Tremblay watches from ground. Aircraft he worked on overnight defending Canadian Arctic. If this were F-35, engine ships to Connecticut. Six to eight weeks minimum. Aircraft still grounded. Russian probe uncontested. American dependence exposed. Tremblay realizes 42-hour turnaround versus six-week turnaround isn't efficiency. It's sovereignty. Aircraft available when Canada needs it. Not when Pentagon supply chain allows it. Second controversial bomb. That November 14th, Russian intercept happened because Tremblay's crew replaced engine in 42 hours using Canadian facilities. Pentagon model would have left that aircraft grounded six weeks. Russian bomber operates uncontested. That's not hypothetical. That's operational sovereignty. Pentagon's model cannot provide. Think maintenance independence matters for sovereignty? or cost savings main benefit. Comment take. Pattern interrupt. Where your $400 million actually goes. Watch exactly where money flows. F-35 model, 462 million annually. Texas gets 132 million. Depot fees, Fort Worth contractors. Connecticut gets 88 million. Pratt & Whitney engine overhauls. U.S. manufacturers get 127 million. Parts supply chain. Specialized U.S. facilities get 52 million. Stealth coating work. Pentagon contractors, 
get 38 million software updates. Canadian contractors get 25 million. Only 5% stays Canada. American economy receives 437 million. Canadian economy receives 25 million. Money flows south. Gripen model, 52 million annually. Quebec gets 14 million. Mirabel Depot operations. Montreal gets 12 million. P and W Canada engine work. Canadian manufacturers get 16 million. Parts supplier. Canadian military gets 7 million. Maintenance labor. Canadian technicians get 2 million. Software updates. Swedish Saab gets 1 million. Only 2% leaves Canada. Canadian economy receives 51 million. Swedish economy receives 1 million. Money stays home. The sovereignty math F35 sends 437 million to US economy while spending 462 million total. Gripen keeps 51 million in Canadian economy while spending only 52 million total. Canada saves 410 million in total spending, plus keeps 51 million versus losing 437 million. Combined Canadian advantage, 461 million annually. Choose F35, money goes Texas. Choose Gripen, money stays Quebec. Here's your shareable quote, F35 sends $437 million to America annually. Gripen keeps $51 million in Canada while spending $410 million less total. Math proves which keeps money home. Screenshot that. Sergeant Tremblay, one of 3,400 jobs Pentagon didn't want. Watch what 400 million staying in Canada creates beyond just Tremblay's November overnight shift. Sergeant Mark Tremblay, aircraft maintenance engineer. But Tremblay isn't just maintaining aircraft. Tremblay is one of 3,400 Canadian jobs F-35 model would have eliminated. That November night, Tremblay replaced engine. His job exists because Canada chose maintenance sovereignty. The Montreal P and W Canada workers who overhauled that replacement engine, their 240 jobs exist because engine work stays Canada. The Quebec parts manufacturers who supplied components during installation, their 1,680 jobs exist because supply chain stays Canadian. Mirabel Depot facility, 850 jobs. Engine overhaul specialists, 240 jobs, parts manufacture, 1,680 jobs, software maintenance, 180 jobs, supply chain logistics, 450 jobs, total, 3,400 Canadian jobs existing because gripe and maintenance stays Canada. Under F-35 model, all eliminated. Fort Worth Depot replaces Mirabelle. Connecticut overhauls replace P&W Canada. U.S. manufacturers replace Canadian suppliers. Pentagon contractors replace Canadian technicians. American logistics replace Canadian supply chain. 3,400 Canadian jobs eliminated. 3,400 American jobs created instead. 400 million stain creates those 3,400 jobs. Average salary, $78,000. That's $265 million annual Canadian wages, supporting 3,400 families, generating income tax, circulating Canadian economy. Pentagon's F-35 model would have sent $265 million wages to American workers, plus $462 million maintenance costs. 44 aircraft times 250 hours annually equals 11,000 flight hours yearly. Canadian jobs. F-35 estimated 280 jobs, gripping 3,400 jobs to American contract. Mathematics and sovereignty combined prove Canada chose correctly.